All right. Good evening, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Thursday night, July the 25th, 2019. Welcome to the break tonight. Uh, we got a fun one in store. Uh, first, for starters, first break tonight, we're going to do the one-third case. Uh, the four boxes here of Top Down and Ginter 2019. Um, this will be my last of the of this. I'm gonna miss it. It's, it's been a fun one to do. So I'm gonna have some final fun tonight on that one. But then after that, we get into the new, the brand new uh, 2019 Immaculate Baseball. So we'll be getting to that half case after we do this Allen and Ginter right here. Um, I'm live on both Facebook in our Facebook group and on YouTube. Uh, so join up in the group if you haven't, or uh, head on over to Facebook or to YouTube. Subscribe in, please. Always appreciate that. Um, give it a moment here. Let some folks join in. Uh, let's see. So next break's going to be on Sunday. Uh, it'll be like an early evening break. Uh, we're going to do um, half case of Immaculate Baseball as well, uh, along with a couple football ones. We've got a Let's see, like a third case of gold standard we're going to do, and uh, what's the other one? Oh, yeah, we're going to hit certified, right. So I got a half inner case of certified that we're going to do on Sunday night. So we're going to mix baseball and football both for Sunday. Uh, so that will be cool. Hey, John, how you doing? So I got the chat going on both Facebook and YouTube. I will say this, I'm still in the works of getting a new computer, so... I can't see the Facebook chatter as easily since I just have it pulled up on my phone and the comments tend to just go away if I don't catch it right away. Um, so I can see the YouTube chatter a little easier, but I'll do the best I can to keep up with everyone here. So, all right, I think that's enough said. Let's get into it. Our first break of the evening. 2019 tops Allen and Ginter Hobby, three hits. Mixed in somewhere, so these could be autos, relics, rip cards, um, the mini plates or mini glass. We pulled a lot of stuff. Um, we've, we've had rip cards. We've had good stuff in here. There's gonna be a box top where we'll hit first. We got uh, 24 packs inside of here, and so let's just get started. Good luck, everyone. Hope everyone's having a nice evening. First box topper, first card of the night. Where is it going? First card of the night is going to go to the Houston Astros. Traveling a little south from where I am here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. It's Jose Altuve. Box topper number one going Houston way. All right, let's get these packs. Uh, so what I do, guys, is I'm going to rip through, I'll do half, uh, half a box at a time. This one is extremely thick. There's going to be something in here. I don't know what, but it's going to end up being on the bottom of the first stack. So we will, <laughs> we'll see it momentarily. Oh, it's an entire card. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just going to put that right there. We're going <laughs> to, it is one, it's, it's going to be a booklet too. Somebody's gonna somebody's gonna hit something big. So stay tuned. We're gonna we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. I need a I need like a drum roll. I need some kind of drum roll for that one when we get to it. I'm not gonna we're not gonna wait too long. We're just gonna do the first half of this box and then we're gonna take a look at what that what that big card is. I know sometimes they'll want to wait until the very end to look at it. I, I'm not a fan of suspense like that. Maybe a tiny bit, but not a huge amount. Like it's, it's you know, it's, I feel like if I did that, it's like kind of like some sort of God complex. And these are your cards, they're not my cards. So I don't want to, I don't want to keep y'all waiting. That's it. We're going to hit it. And that would have been in the order it was coming in anyway. 
That was going to be the bottom of the first stack as it is. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it is, and we're not going to wait too long. Here's the first half, box number one. Good luck, everyone. I'm really going to run through. I'm just going to fly through the base. I'm going to stop at the uh, inserts, parallels, hits, serial numbers, all that fun stuff, okay? So, Post Malone is kicking things off. And then we'll start off with the mini uh, Patrick Wisdom. That's a Ginter back. Uh, who's this Mercer guy? Oh, uh, Matthew Mercer, yeah. Voice actor. That's going to the non-baseball spot. So there was an auction spot for all the non-baseball cards that are being pulled out of here. Here's a Tom Seaver. That's a base back on that one. So I'll say the non-baseball spot's going to get a lot of cards in this break, such as this one, the Yellow Labrador. Out to the non-baseball spot. When we did our last Ginter break earlier this week, we pulled nine minis of dogs. <laughs> we almost had the full set. Uh, so, first we'll look at this uh, subway train, and then we'll look more. Manny Machado, that's a Ginter back. The Ginter backs are slightly more... Uh, Higher odds of finding. Uh, here we go. First off, first hit is going to be a single color patch of Burton Rocks, a sports agent and author. So, first hit of, not surprising, is going to the non baseball spot. Um, I don't know what that patch is of, but it's a single white color patch that looks kind of like it could be a shirt of some kind. So, congrats. Cedric Mullins, Baltimore, base. And all cards ship, guys. All cards ship for this one. All cards will ship for the Immaculate one coming up next. Andrew Benatendi, base. Giancarlo Stanton, base. Yankees. Gary V. Base. I'll go to the non baseball spot. Upside down now. Um, Emily Jensen. Jensen. What are you doing? Minor League Baseball General Manager. There you go. Still going to the non baseball spot. All right. Guys, let's take a look at this. There is something special coming out of here. There is one card on top of it, <laughs> and there is a mini card. So let's see those. We got an insert of Ryan Sandberg, and then uh, Orlando Cepeda. That's going to be a base out to the Giants. But after that, this thing is stuffed with something very special. Tops Allen Ginter Autograph Relic Book Card. I'm looking at the Cincinnati Reds on this one because I'm seeing the name Joey Votto. Autograph Relic Book. Numbered to 10. Look at that beaut. Numbered to 10. It's an on sticker auto. And the sticker, the name kind of ran off on the top there a little bit, but it's mostly there. Jumbo single color patch. Cincinnati, you are definitely leading the way tonight so far. Very nice hit. Congrats. Wow. I've been watching a lot of Allen and Ginter breaks, and I haven't seen many booklets. Might have seen like one other one. Well, that's, that's pretty cool. Nice job, Cincinnati, picking that one up tonight. A 
ripping open here the second half of box one. We still should have one more hit of some kind to find here. We should. So far we got that baseball agent uh, relic of some kind and then the pretty sweet Joey Botto booklet patch auto. And if you're just joining now, we are in the Allen and Ginter break, obviously. Immaculate will be coming up right after this. We're gonna get a, we're gonna get an auto. It looks like possibly an auto at the back of this stack that I'm holding right here. Uh, some sort of waterfall face back. Don Manly Yankees face. Dog number two. Black Labrador base. Hamilton base. Her story, Rocky Skinterback. Cole Hamels Cubs base. And behind Joe Morgan here. Ooh, Kansas City. Kansas City with a George Brett bat mini framed up relic. Nice hit right here going out to the Royals. Kansas City, that was a... Let's finish up these cards here. We have a... Casey Stengel, that's a Ginter back for the Yankees. Black bordered Adrian Beltre for the Rangers. Training, Ginter back. Dog number three, Fortsoy? First time I've seen that one. A little heritage or historical mini. Get your back with Starling, Starling Marte. The Pirates. And that's box one. Let's hit up box number two. Great start on box one. Great start on box one. Box number two. Let's take a look at our box topper. Box topper number two is going to the Los Angeles Angels. Here is Shohei Otani. Box topper out to the Angels. Congrats. All right, first half box number two. Two ripping.
go. First half of box number two. We got a Reyes base for the Padres. Tim Raines. This will go to the Nationals. If you get an Expos one, and that's a base. Black Border. Cody Allen for the Angels. Tatis Jr. Ginterback, Padres. A giant pumpkin. That's what it says on there. Base. Non baseball spot. Mike Piazza, Dodgers. Base. Prime time. Interback Braves. First hit, Milwaukee. Lorenzo Kane, single color patch, going out to the Brewers. Schumacher, base. Golden Shrimp, out to the non-baseball spot again. Sammy Sousa, base. I haven't seen Sammy Sosa in a lot of products here lately. Well, this is dog number four, West Highland Terrier. Base. See if we get nine dogs again tonight. Will Myers, Padres base. All right, second half, box two is coming up. And if you're just joining us again, this is the Allen Ginter break. Immaculate will be up next. to the second half of box two. Roberto Almar leads it off. Dennis Eckersley, Oakland, Interbank. Andy Pettit, Yankees, Interbank. Matt Olson, this. Omar Mazzara, Rangers, base. Freddie Freeman, Black Border. Ahmed Rosario, Mets, base. I we'll have two more hits in here. I don't think I've missed anything. Uh, let's see, dog number five, the Beagle. The Beagle. All right, well, here we go right here, right behind Hank Aaron. Oh, this is the second time I've pulled this one. Non-baseball. We had we found Dan Rather Auto in our first of the Ginter breaks we did. Here you go, Auto, Mini, on card, framed up. Dan Rather. CBS News. 
Look, I am rabbit. Zach Granke, thanks. Congrats to the non-baseball spot. That is a sweet one. Even seeing it for a second time, it's still sweet. Daniel Bogart's face. Menzo wrist. Interback. Cubbies. Corbin Burns. Uh, Burnsy face. Stan Musial, interback. And here's our third hit then. Texas Rangers, here you go. Single color patch of Nomar Mazzara. After the Rangers, congrats. All right, let's find our way into box number three. First off, the box topper goes to the non-baseball spot, Iwasu Falls. There you go, nice postcard. Wish you were here. Congrats to the non-baseball spot for box topper number three. Three, one up. First half box three. Good luck, everyone. Another train. That's base. Kevin Longoria. Get your back. Tommy Lasorda. Corey again, face. What is this dog number five or six? I think that would be six. The Chihuahua face. I think that's dog number six. Okay. Archer face. Overest again, base. And here's our first hit. We pulled his auto earlier this week. Now we got a single color patch of Jean Raffio of Parks and Rec fame. Here is Ben Schwartz. Going out to the non baseball spot. Congrats. Rod Carew. Black border for the Twins. Base of Jordan Hicks for the Cardinals. A 
black border of Salvador Perez. Another kind of waterfall, Ruby Falls space. Justin Bohr base. And Mets will call on you for this next hit. Single color patch of Ahmed Rosario. New York Mets, congrats. In the second half here, we still got one more hit left to find. Aggressive pack ripping, but careful pack ripping, guys. Careful. I know we don't want to spend most of the break watching me tear through plastic. We want to spend it seeing these cards, see, finding those hits. Second half of box three. Here we go. Chris Davis, start us off. Nola, Phillies, get your back. Oh, we got a stained glass. Woo! Nationals. Where have you been, Nationals? Here you are. A beautiful stained glass of Corbin. Oh, that is a sweet one. Congrats, Nationals. It's the first one I've seen or that we've pulled of the stained glass. We've had a metal one, but now we got a stained glass one to, to add to the hits. Uh, let's see, Polanco, base. That is a beauty. Dog number seven? The Bull Mastiff. Thanks. Mark Summers, Mr. Double Dare Base. Alex Bregman, Black Border, Astros. We got Corey Seager, base. And we got our next hit coming up here. Ooh, nice one again. Oakland, another Hall of Famer. But this one's for Oakland, and it's Ricky Henderson, single color patch. Out to the Athletics, congrats. Yonder Alonzo, Ginter back. Nolan Ryan, Ginter back, Astros. Franco face. Rocks, Ginter back. The non baseball spot. One Kopech. Base. What sucks? All right. That was box three. Final box. Let's find that last box mojo. Can we find another stained glass? <laughs> last. And this is going to be a thick one. Last, 
this going to be a rip it? Last one. Oh. We got ourselves a Mike Trout. And it's a rip it. A rip card right here. Rip it or keep it. Calling out to you, Los Angeles Angels. You want to rip right now or should I send it to you? No, I'm going to send it to you. Oh, boy, what will you do, Angels? You could get an exclusive mini parallel, mini wood parallel, mini metal parallel, mini autograph, one-of-a-kind sketch. Three mini cards are inside of here, and it could be one or more of any of those I just threw out there. What to do with this Mike Trout Giant Rippet box topper? Huge hit. Congrats to the Angels on that one. That's the first uh, box topper rip card I got. I pulled here in our breaks. So that's pretty awesome. We got easily the best box topper to, to end this Ginter break. Angels, I want to hear from you. What do you want to do with that, huh? What are you going to do? What advice do y'all have? What should they do? Rip it or keep it? I've, I've seen a lot of social media chatter debating rip cards. And I've, I've heard arguments from both sides. I think it mainly comes down to, do you want to sell it or not? If you want to sell it, you're not going to rip it, obviously. But if you want to keep it, then go nuts. Oh, and by the way, that uh, trout, if I, I know I forgot to mention, but it's on there. The uh, trout is numbered to 65. It was 64 of 65, in fact. So there you go. Again, congrats to the Angels. That was a sweet one right there. brought out some really good stuff. All right, first half of the last box. Here we go. Roberto Clemente start us off. Lou Gehrig, Yankees base. Tukey, base for the Braves. Doggy number eight, the Corgi, base. Justin Smoke, base. Justice Sheffield. What's that trout worth? I don't know. Um, the rip cards are really going strong on eBay right now. It's a Ginter back. I tell you, John, I, I think it's it's a pretty high value one, especially when it, especially the the box topper one. I think you're you're at least, you're definitely in the three digits with that one if you were looking to sell it. Here's a Clemente black border for the Pirates. But man, that's hard to resist. Here's a here's a hit right here. This young lady, uh, the, with the minor league uh, general manager, is a type of single colored patch that might be like a like the fabric of a hat, perhaps. Uh, Emily Jensen again. That's uh, for the non baseball spot. So I, it's definitely going to have a, a lot of demand, and it's going to be a high value one. Um, I would love to see what's inside of it, but, you know, that's going to be up to the Angels owner. <laughs> Juan Soto, Natties, get your back. Yachty, Cardinals face. Freddy Free, face. Dog number nine, the English Springer Spaniel. Thanks. 
And Braves got a hit for you, Mr. Newcomb, right here. Single color patch out to Atlanta. Robbie Alomar, Blue Jays base. And let's get to the last half. I think we've gotten, what, two hits already. So we got a, one more hit to go here in the second half. And definitely a big hit on the box topper, that's for sure. Stained glass, rip card box topper, trout. Another damn rather auto. Got some relics of a couple Hall of Famers. This has been a pretty successful one here. Still got one more hit to find, but could it be the best one? We saving the best for last year? We gonna find out. Here we go, last half, last box. Immaculate is coming up right after this. Good luck. James Paxton, Black Border, Yankees. Ty Cobb, Tigers base. First Tiger Mask, non-baseball spot, and that's a Ginter guy. White Sox, Palco, Bay, or Black Border, sorry. Mr. Sale, Ace. Andrew McCutcheon. Interback. Oh, yeah. I was wondering, like, did I, did, I not, did I miss it? No, the last hit has got to be in this last little stack. Uh, what was your name? Mayumacito? Non baseball spot. That's all you in the base. And here's our last hit coming up right here. Good luck, everyone. It's a rip card. Our story. Look at that. We got two rip cards in the same box. Number to 75, Colorado Rockies. Now you have a decision. Rip it or keep it. Let me hear from you. Now, I'm not sure, so sure if that even counts as the third hit. Yeah, I think it does. Okay, it does, yeah. That's a rip of cards are counting that way. In bloom, another base there. The Mayhew, Ginter, back, Yankees. Rod Carew, base. Uh, Niagara Falls, Niagara Falls, base. Some none. Black border. Uh, she like threw out the first pitch at a bunch of games or something. I think that's her story. All right, boom, that is it. Wow, this is an amazing break. Two different rip cards, one being a box topper of Trout. We had a booklet of Votto. We had a Dan Rather auto. We had a stained glass mini. Uh, that was a pretty successful Allen and Ginter break. What's likely going to be my last Allen and Ginter break. So I'm glad y'all were here and y'all got in on that one because that was, that was pretty good. That was pretty, pretty good. All right, gang. Let's let's find our way to the one I'm, I'm very excited to do here. 
Uh, we got MMAC of the 2019 Baseball, and we also got this box of Donruss Optic 2019 that we're going to put with it, and we'll rip that first. But it's coming out of Crush Case. So let's get her open. Tins. Okay. Spread them out. All right. Been pretty quiet on the chatter tonight, but let's see if we can get somebody to pipe in. So we got to do four of these. We're doing half the case tonight. Um, we'll call this stack one and this stack number two. Uh, let's see. So the first person who types in on either chat a one or a two, that's what we're going to do tonight. So who's going to take all the credit or who's going to take all the blame here? One or two. I see JT over on the YouTube side chose one. Phil, in fact, chose one as well right after. So he even got some backup there, JT. So that is what we will do tonight. That second half, that's going to be on Sunday. So I want to get in on that too. All right. So I'm going to set these back here because... We are going to work on our Donruss Optic first. Two autos in here. We could have hit a hot box. We did a what Optic break, just four boxes of it on Tuesday. We had two of the four boxes were hot boxes. So it seems like the odds are decent on that, but we'll find out. Um, we've got 20 packs in here, four cards of packs. It's going to be a lot of parallels in here. We'll fly through this one, and then we'll spend a little time with that immaculate right after this. So... This all is one break, so this is part of the Immaculate Break, of course, so good luck to everyone. Similar to Aunt Allen and Ginter, I'll rip this open half a box at a time. All right, all right. Here we go. First half of the Optic Box, which is part of... Immaculate break. Again, if, if y'all are joining and you missed that last Allen and Ginter break, there was some really cool stuff out of there. Easily, I, I think the best one we had of our Allen and Ginter breaks. And we pulled a lot of cool stuff out of Allen and Ginter. That was. Didn't find the Harrison Ford signature. That was a pretty tough one to find anyway. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. Again, just running through base, stopping at parallels like we were right off the bat. Cedric Mullins, uh, you're going to be number two, 199 for the Orioles. A little cracked ice action there. Like Snell inserts. The lighting doesn't always help when I'm trying to spot some of the parallels on Donruss Optic. I will say that much. Uh, but here we go. We got parallels. Silver, Justice Sheffield, Seattle. Those won't be numbered. Uh, Dakota Hudson, though, for the Cardinals. You're going to be numbered to 199. And then... This might be a um, uh, parallel hotbox, since we are finding quite a few here already. Number to 199 as well. Stan Lee Auto. No, I didn't see that one, but what, is that a cut? That has to be a cut one, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. Pujols is an MVP insert. That's another insert there. Looks like we already found our first. Auto here, Taylor Trammell, Reds, on card auto. These are not numbered, or that particular parallel is not numbered. Donaldson, MVP. All right, so we are probably looking at a parallel, I, I think, maybe it's a parallel hotbox. 
Oh yeah, that would have to be. I mean, any of the cut stuff is typically gonna be like one of one. You know, we had this cut auto out of like Diamond Kings. It's probably you know two three months ago. Like the, one of the first owners of the New York Yankees or something. But that was number to three. Like they had a few of them. But yes, that would be a sweet one. You could like take that cut auto. You know, grab some of the high value, like old comics of your choice or whatever. Put up a nice frame on all that. Mat it down. You got yourself a beautiful display. Vinny, appreciate that. Good luck to you, too. All right. Again, part of the immaculate break. Let's finish off this optic box. Nomar Mazar, that's a silver. Trout, uh, insert. Trout, insert again. A lot of trout inserts. Kikuchi, insert. And here we go. Oh, wow. This is a beauty. Even before getting into immaculate, White Sox, you're hitting first. You're hitting big. Eloy Jimenez. On card auto, it's not numbered, but look at that white socks right off the bat. Ooh, they almost got the logo in there too. You can kind of see the bottom of the S. Ooh, that should get that's gonna get Panini in some trouble or something. <laughs> All right, Cedric Mullins uh, parallel there. Paul Goldschmidt insert. Nice auto to get in here. Corey Seager insert. Aaron Judge insert. Alex Bregman parallel. Max Scherzer insert. Um, that would be a Eugenio Suarez parallel. And is that one numbered? No, okay, Diamond Kings are still just right here. Got it. All right, boom. That was it. That was the optic. Nice Jimenez. White Sox already out in the lead before we even get into the first box of Immaculate. All right, here we go. Immaculate. So it's going to be... One pack in this box, six cards in the pack. All some type of hit or miss, <laughs> I suppose. Mostly hit. And let's rip this tin. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. This is box number one. First one out the gate's already numbered to five, and it's a butte. Kevin Kramer. You got like three letters on this giant mega patch. Numbered three of five. Pirates, first on the board. Beautiful. Next up. New York Mets, number to 25. Here's Robinson Cano. That's a bat relic right there, single relic. Keep it going, another different team here. Washington Nationals, number to 99. Here's a Juan Soto. Single patch, single color patch. Next one. Houston Astros, welcome to the break. Here's a frame from Valdez. RPA on card. Three color patch there. Number to 49. These patches are awesome. Congrats, Houston. Ooh, we got something special here. New York Yankees, welcome to the break. Here's a Clint Frazier on bat auto with what I believe might be a hat, piece of a hat right there. Number to 25, Old English is what this one's called. Congrats, Yankees, that is beautiful right there. We got another 
Butte coming up here. Last card coming out. Brandon Lau, Tampa Bay, welcome to the break. Here is a dual relic RPA on uh, I black auto. At least if they didn't use a black marker on the I black. Um, we could talk about gold standard football if y'all want. I got my issues there. Number to 49, this is a beauty right here. Rookie matinee, Brandon Lau, Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay. Welcome to the break. Nice first box. Box number two. Let's see what you got. Spread the love a little more. See if we can. This box feels a little heavier than the last box. See if that means anything. Oh, one more. There we go. Yeah, a little bit. No book left though, but all right. First up, let's take a look. Atlanta Braves get you in on the break here. Number to 49. Here's Kyle Wright. Single color patch. These cards are sick. You got that right, Phil. Next up, Nationals again, a bat relic here. Number to 49 is Trey Turner. Put that with your Juan Soto there, Natties. Oh, but, but wait, there's more Nationals. Yes, indeed. Number to 49, here's a quad relic of Juan Soto. We got bat, we got jersey, we got other equipment. Might be the armband stuff on that one. Numbered to 49 quad relic. Well, Nationals won't get this next one. Let's bring in the Padres for a Jacob Nix. Here's a dual relic. It's RPA. It's an on-card auto. We got a two-color patch there up top, a single-color patch across the bottom. Numbered to 99. There you go, San Diego. Welcome to the break. Next up, Phillies. Calling on the Phillies, number to 99. Here's an on-card auto of Cesar Hernandez going out to Philadelphia. And finally, we got a Quint relic, quintuple relic, five relic, on-card auto, White Sox, you are killing it now in Immaculate, and you were in Optic. Here's a Michael Kopech. You got the lettering all over this thing. Three color patches, five and all on-card auto. Chicago White Sox, congratulations. Very nice. All right, halfway home. Box number three. Phil. Phil is gushing over this. I think we might have a redemption in here. Looks like we're going to have a redemption. All right, first card. Chicago Cubs. Let's not forget y'all. Here's a John Lester number to 49 single color patch. Still a lot of cards left. You're right, Vinny. 11 cards left, in fact. Next up, Boston. We're definitely spreading the love here. Number to 49, here's Chris Sale. A little ding on that corner up top. Otherwise, very nice card. Oh, here we go. Pittsburgh Pirates. How about a Ralph Kiner, number to 25 bat relic? Number to 25, going out to the Pirates. Very nice. All right, here we go. Redemption time, redemption time. Good luck, everyone.
2019 Panini Immaculate Collection Signatures, Nomar Mazzara, Texas Rangers. There you go, Nomar Mazzara. Next up, five, Quint Relic, here we go. Oakland Athletics, welcome to the break. Here is Ramon Laureano. On card auto, we got three color patches, we got single color patches, we got just, it is clothed up everywhere. We got a chunk of shirt on this one. Very nice. Out to the athletics. Next up, Philadelphia. Well, it's not a break unless you find a Reese Hoskins somewhere. On sticker auto, triple relic, number to 25. Out to the Phillies. Last box. Let's find some last box mojo. When we had our last box of Ginter, we had our best box easily. Let's see if we can find that in here. Good luck, everyone. This has been fun. I'm excited to do the second half of this on Sunday. A lot of great stuff. I will say this is easily the skinniest output of cards. We've got six. We're going to have another redemption in here. Just wanted to make sure we had six because this is a really small. But yes, we do. Because one will be a redemption. What was the L'Oreal number two? Well, let's, let me take a look. I, forgot. I apologize if I didn't mention it. L'Oreal is number two, 49. Number to four, 27 of 49. In fact, I got a minute here. A few seconds. I'll bring it out one more time for you, Vinny. 27 of 49. All right, here we go. This is the last one. Let's take a look. First up, Mets, once again, Michael Conforto, number to 99, a single color patch here. You're welcome, Vinny, very welcome. Here we go. Next up, Braves come back to us again with a Freddie Freeman, number to 49, Bat Relic. Oh, this looks, oh, oh, I am so jealous. I love this. Yankees. You done killed it right here. Number 49, Mickey Mantle. Dual relic. Pinstripe. On that first one up there. 21 to 49 out to the New York Yankees. Congratulations. That is awesome. I know it's not the super duper shortest of prints, but I still love it. I think it's really cool. All right, here's the redemption. Good luck, everyone. Look at that. Braves once again. Immaculate Collection rookie debut, Tuki Toussaint. Going out to the Braves. All right, next up, we've got two cards left, everyone. Here's a new team. Let's bring a new team into the break here. How about the Miami Marlins? And a number to 49, Brian Anderson, on sticker auto, three color patch, got a lot of stitching on it. And guess what, guys? It's the last one stamped 49 of 49. Miami, congratulations, grabbing one of the last cards before we finish. But now here we go, last card out. It looks cool, too. Old English. White Sox, again, number to 10. We've got an on equipment auto. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at there. What this is that? It might be a bat. I, you know what? It is bat. It's like just not taking up the entire thing. Um, so it's an on bat auto. Jose Abreu. And you got a two color patch here. You see a little bit of 
a little bit of a black on the very end of this patch. And it's numbered to 10. And in fact, now it's the first one stamp. We had a last one stamp, and we got the first one stamp. One of 10. White Sox, I believe you done owned this break tonight. Congratulations. And that right there, folks, is the break. Wow, a lot of cool stuff coming out of this one here. Um, very sweet stuff. Uh, so, yeah, so we are back again. Whoever, yeah, you're right, Phil, whoever got the White Sox definitely made out. I don't have the list in front of me. Uh, but, man, I mean, both Alan Ginter and Immaculate, big time tonight. Great stuff. Uh, so, yeah, so we are back again on Sunday. The auctions are up on eBay right now. We're going to do Immaculate, uh, Immaculate Baseball again because we've got the second half of that case. I'll put another optic box with it, all right? And then we're going to switch gears and do a couple football breaks on Sunday night. We've got some gold standard we're going to do. Um, and we got certified, certified that just came out yesterday as well. So we've got a couple of those to go through. So it's going to be some good stuff on Sunday. Uh, let's see, the auctions will start ending probably around 4:15 Central. We'll start the uh, or we'll start the break at 7 Central, 7 p.m. Central Sunday night. So again, hey, thanks a lot for joining everyone. Really appreciate everyone coming out. Uh, hopefully, see you back here again on Sunday. All right, have a good one.